Hey bears, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time joining me, my name is Ofente and I am your book bay. Your book bay is once again in the building. Your book bay, your bookish bay, your content bay, honey. This week I'm reviewing Stay With Me by Ayobami Haribayo. She's a Nigerian author. She's super awesome. And I definitely DM'd her after this book because I was just like fangirling because I just felt like this book has changed my life. I will never be the same. Like it was just like an emotional roller coaster, and I would definitely let me just say from the beginning because I mean I guess you can kind of like figure out that I would definitely recommend this book to anybody who is interested in just having their life changed. Like I personally am. Um, I think in my previous review when I was discussing um, beauty's gift, I discussed how it was difficult for me to relate to the subject matter because it was a lot about marriage and being a married woman, etc, etc. But this book still is framed in a similar way, but it was so much more relatable. I could really kind of like empathize with the major I could definitely empathize, empathize with the main protagonist whose name is Yejide and just a synopsis about the book once again spoiler alert like I think I won't I don't think I'll spoil this book too much because it's actually been a while since I completed the book um, I completed the book at the end of last year or sometime last year mid reading slump I have a backlog of all these books that I've read that I didn't necessarily engage with on my channel so that's awesome it's exciting for this year uh, yeah, so like I was saying, it's all about Yejide and Yejide is married to Akin and guys when I tell you about a love story like reading about their love like just how they engage with each other just how um, Akin takes care of her and is so like gentle with her you know you just I, I just felt like I was just like okay well you know what like this love exists like this is kind of the love that everybody deserves and for me i'm definitely a romantic so i just want to put it out there that like this is exactly how i'd like to be treated up until a point though because it gets to a point in the book when akin really betrays yejide's trust like basically they have trouble having a child and um yejide does everything like it's just all she wants like she goes on pilgrimages she goes to um doctors she drinks magic drinks and potions and whatever's because she so badly wants a child with a kin and they're so in love and you really feel sorry for them because you can tell that at some point this desire for a child really takes over yejide's life and also just causes a lot of tension in their marriage which is really upsetting you know um but then plot twist when um Yejire finds out that she is not necessarily the problem and um akin comes up with an idea for Yejire to fall pregnant essentially the whole story unravels around that just this desire to have a child and wow they end up actually parting ways at some point they do have children they have two children actually they have their first child who passes away from being ill and then they have a second child and it happens in the 1980s in nigeria with the civil unrest at the time so that plays a lot a big role in just the the narrative and how it's um everything kind of unravels in the story yeah that's a little bit of the synopsis like i said i read it quite a while ago so i think that if i did this review straight away i would have had a lot more to say and a lot more spoilers <laughs> but um i just remember feeling like i really i liked how the book ended like it was so refreshing it was so different it was not what you necessarily would expect from something like a romance novel it was not the happy ending that you anticipate you know or that we're so used to which i really respected hadebayo for and I, I mean, if I could read this book again, like I, I kind of had like a moment when I was frantically searching for other books that she had written because I just felt like I need to experience this author again. And at that point, I hadn't necessarily found anything that she had written. Um, I did my research and uh, there was nothing that came up. So I'm just hoping that at some point she will release another um, novel. Wow amazing 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 writing amazing like narrative like just how she forms it and how she how the story unfolds i was just like always at the edge of my seat it wasn't necessarily chronological but for the most part i would say it is it's um the story is told 
primarily through the first, um, the main protagonist, Shijide, but we do have um, moments when we hear from the different characters in the book, the different pro protagonists. I know that at some point we heard from Akin. I know at some point we heard from Akin's brother who also plays a role in the book. I won't say how. And so I just, yeah, it was an amazing book. Um, is there anything that I feel like could have been better? No, I'm just upset about the fact that there aren't any other books from this author that I could really sink my teeth into. That's just an upsetting part for me. Um, I love that I'm finding all these authors that are doing so amazing in the African literature space. That is just such a, like, something that I'm really enjoying. I realize now that most of the books that I've been reading are actually African lit. So, I mean, I'm not mad at that because, period, you know, I love the fact that there's so much opportunity because and um, variety, particularly, because definitely growing up, it wasn't necessarily... I wasn't exposed to a lot of that, but I think that, you know, as we progress, there's more and more options. So, um, yeah, this is an African literature stan YouTube account. This is a perfect time to subscribe. And, um, yeah, so let me know if you've read the book. What would I rate the book? I mean, I would give it a solid 11 out of 10. It's that good, guys. Like, I when I tell you that I was traumatized for months after reading this book like i would sit sometimes and just remember like what i'm reading i think at some point this is the one book that actually kept me up at night for a long time like at some point i was just like pulling all night is when i really shouldn't have been because i definitely had obligations the next day but it's that good so 11 out of 10 please write more books Love you, Adebayo, like you are my queen. And yeah, guys, if you're interested in more comments, I mean, more bookish content, please remember to subscribe. I was thinking about doing a vlog, like actually have been like into exercise, you know, more religiously because I felt like I just wanted to be healthier. And also I miss like that portion of my closet that I haven't really been able to access because of my current weight or whatever. So um, maybe I'll do a vlog at some point, but for now I'm just enjoying getting back into the YouTube, you know, vibes, the YouTube feel. So um, that's it for me. Bye for now.